Welcome back guys to another episode of Central Oregon Shanes. Today, we need you to turn on the notification bell right away. We need you to subscribe to both of our channels real quick because this we're, we're kicking off today the biggest epic project that you'll ever see on these channels. We're going to restore a truck in two weeks. I mean, how else do you put it, John? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> we're we're, we're, we're going we're to do it. We're going to do it. So... Notification bells, both channels, subscribe, Fox Shop, Central Oregon Shenanigans, tuning in for the first time, you're not going to want to miss this series, and help us out guys, drop these videos in social media platforms across the board, uh, I don't know much about Twitter and and Facebook and and uh, Instagram, whatever, how the, over those platforms work, make it happen for us, that'd be a huge help and a huge support to both of these channels for this series. With that being said, John and I, we got our videos up today. We were going to do some sightseeing. Almost. Almost. He's working on his. I got mine up first. Uploading as we speak. Yeah. So, with that being said, we were going to do some sightseeing. But then John and I were like, oh, we just got in the mood. We're, we want to work on this truck, I guess. Yep, yep. So, we are going to jump on loading supplies up out of my shop into the back of the truck, heading out and starting early on it and just getting it i've got a big goal list that i want to get done he has today. a huge goal a huge goal and um john doesn't think it's gonna happen but i it could if everything goes he's worried about rust <laughs> my, yeah, I'm, I'm not used to working with three people either i'm used to working by myself so and i'm a slave driver sometimes so we'll see but uh we're gonna be heading out here shortly and we're gonna catch you over at Kyle's shop, and uh, you'll get to see the new lights because I filmed an episode on that last night. But I don't know. We'll see how that all turns out. All right, guys, we're at the property. We did not forget the radiator core support today, John. Not this time. Not this time. And like John said in his video, he's talking about there's no rust in this core support, and he's pretty jelly about it. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So uh, we got uh, rollers loaded. Saw horses. We we don't have any more room for anything else today. There is more things we need, but we'll see at Kyle's. Oh, yep, yeah, it's the two hundred dollar truck. A lot of guys have been um, asking about the transmission rebuild. It got put on hold so we could get Kyle's truck done first, and then. Um, as soon as John goes home, Kyle and I are already got plans of getting that transmission rebuilt. So this is your transmission update. The E4OD is going to get back on the front burner very shortly because I want it off my workbench and I want it back in the $200 truck. So that should answer some of your comments I've been getting lately on the transmission in this. It is going to get done soon, soon. I know I've said that before, but no, it's actually going to, it's going to happen. I promise. I promise. Right, Kyle? Right. Yeah, right. right. So, um, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about and you're new to the channel, which subscribers are going crazy, um, that's the $200 truck. We got it for 200 bucks, blown transmission. There's a series of E4OD teardown videos that we've done, and we've also uh, have a couple other videos, transmission stop slip. You guys can go check those out. They're on the channel. Uh, Kyle will be updating a playlist and stuff. I don't. He's good at doing that stuff. You want to put it there? <laughs> Uh, we got a uh, dry erase board. Uh, I told John, I was like, we got to get a dry erase board so we can list our goals for the day and meet those goals. Because if we don't have an achievement, you know, I just, we got a lot to do. I thought a dry erase board, you know, make a chore list of what we want to get done. So, okay. That being said, we're about ready to pull the $800. I drop in the comments down below. What do you guys want to call this project? I know we're, we're starting to film on it right now. I'm just calling it the $800 truck, the collaboration truck. No, no, it's just we can't figure it out, guys. So it's we need your help. Awesome. But we got lights. I don't know if you guys. I don't know if I've got a, a footage of last night. I don't know if that's gonna be part of this video or not. But we have got lights in here now, everywhere. So anyway, I have no idea. I lost Mr. Fox. Lost Mr. Fox. I'm gonna go find him. We got some cleanup to do real quick from our light project we did last night. And then that truck's coming in today, and I've got three things that I wanted to get done today. And we'll see if we get those three things done. If not, 
We got to do it tomorrow or the next day. All right. It's almost going to happen. We got to get this thing moved. Keep your fingers crossed. We got the $200 truck moved back to the road. Just did that. If you want to see that, go check out John at the Fox Shop. He filmed that portion of it. Oh, that's. Bah, 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 bah. You kind of need an ignition module if you're going to fire it did up. We, did we leave it out? It's on the fender. Oh. <laughs> go grab the one from the V8 and see if it'll fly. But I want to see this. I, it might fry it though, and then we might be screwed. So. Kyle was just out here cranking up this truck, and I'm like, Kyle, you kind of need an ignition module to, okay, yeah, to fire it up. Where is it? It's on that fender. But I told him, like, I want to try something. Grab that V8 module and see if it'll fire an inline six. It's not going to work. Are you sure? No, but I don't. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure it's not going to work. All right, leave it in the comments down below before that you watch any more of this take video. A, take a guess. Is guys. it going to work? Or is it going to fail? We I got, think it's got a six cylinder and we're putting a V8 ignition module on it. So James, come over and hold this. We'll ground this thing. It doesn't it didn't fire that one fired up without it being grounded. I mean try. I am betting I'm betting the next beer that it doesn't uh, doesn't start. Fire up, you bastard. I'm oh! beer in the fridge, guys. <laughs> That's crazy. I didn't, I didn't think that so, would work. You guys learned something today, and I learned something today. So they're interchangeable. Let's take the six cylinder and put it on the eight cylinder, see if that works. It does. I've already ran that one on that truck. That's not the six cylinder. Nope, it's not. That's the eight cylinder yeah, one. Let's take the six cylinder one. Oh, okay. Let me pull up there. You're not gonna bang the fender or the Hey, even a blind squirrel gets a nut every once in a while. It does sound good. It does sound good. Is this a single? Huh? Single exhaust? Uh, yes. She's gonna be pretty. She's gonna be damn pretty. Ooh, she's been sitting a while. Washing her all up, getting it ready, getting it ready before we go stick it in the shop. Next time this thing sees daylight, it's gonna have a new paint job. Got the canopy moved over to that truck. We're gonna try to salvage this truck. I know a lot of people were talking about, oh, you should, it's, you shouldn't be knocking it in the head and. It's not going to be knocked 100% in the head. We're actually going to try to put bad parts back on it to kind of make it drivable for somebody, and we're going to sell it really cheap. Um, it has a reconstructed title. This truck has a reconstructed title. It's got 350K or 370. It's, it's just, it is what it is. A little bit more outside prepping. Looks like Kyle got an emblem off there. Kind of some outside prep. These mirrors got to go. A lot of work to do still. We bit off way too much. Hasn't even really started yet and I'm, I'm having my doubts. Just kidding. Got this emblem off and this trim piece off. He's yeah. using fishing line to get the molding off, which I haven't done that before. I've always, I've used a putty knife. It seems to be working about the same i think i think you're, i'd that's a new one on me just I mean, depends on which way's faster that was your job he took your job, he, took job. he did he did he did what that's okay don't tell him that what nothing <laughs> if you guys don't know who this guy is over my shoulder you guys guys gotta go check out the fox shop i'll leave it his link to his channel in the description below and he'll also have a button at the end of the channel i think i've said that already but a lot of people skip through and i know i know i need better fishing line Wow! Only way I've ever done it is with a putty knife and a hammer before, but this is actually not working too bad. Wow! Of course, Kyle isn't wanting to save these, so James is pulling on it yeah. at the same time. You could you could actually just you know have somebody you know put your put a wedge in there, put a wedge in here, or put your hand and not bend on it like I'm doing. But even if you, bend, I mean, you could put yeah, that you back, could get on. back on. There. It's just rubber. Yeah, 
So there's a trick, guys. Look at that. John lost his job. Yeah, I lost my job. That's he okay. lost That's his right. job. I don't know why you guys had me come out. <laughs> don't like me anyway. Well, James said. We just don't like other channels. They use the name shenanigans too much. Our shenanigans are cheeky and fun. His shenanigans are cruel and tragic. Which makes them not shenanigans at all, really. Evil shenanigans. I swear to God, I'll pistol whip the next guy that says shenanigans. Hey, Jimmy Johnson. What's the name of that restaurant you like with all the goofy shit on the walls and the mozzarella sticks? Uh, shenanigans. Oh. You're talking about shenanigans, right? Put those away. All right, guys, we got all the, the molding off with the fishing line. Yeah, I'm going to move that bucket. Listen to her purr, guys. All right, so what are we doing here? Kyle's going to pull We're going to get garage. her in here. We're going to start sanding tonight. We kept finding some body work that we're going to have to do, and we'll get her. Not that much. There's one one spot back on the, the hardest we got to we're going to tackle that hard spot first that's the worst the rest of it's going to be pretty 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 easy will it fit? will it fit it does have an exhaust leak on this side watch that side john Hey, look, this is perfect. We have a light bulb right here that we put in last night for some light, too. Okay, go. All right, so we got a package. Okay, so we got a package from Chris in Georgia. And where the hell was that? I'm super appreciative that you watched our videos and sent. Nice pet job. Hey, we got a letter. Oh. We got a letter. Hey guys, I heard you say that Kyle's truck didn't have a tack, so I thought I would send one out your way. It needs a little work to be complete, but I'm sure you guys can knock it out in a minute. Thanks for all the great content. Chris from Georgia. And awesome. This. Back job. That is what he sent. So all we need to do is take the uh, speedometer yep. and the uh, odometer out of the other one and put it in this one. All the plugs, they plug up the same, right? Yeah. John? Yep. 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 So and all the, all the I have all of Kyle's we got LED, all the LEDs, LEDs. Yep. and all the wiring for attack cluster should already be in the back of the perfect be in the dash perfect perfect so. and if it doesn't work blame this guy yeah it's gonna be all john's fault chris thank you really appreciate you sending this out to us so kyle here is using a heat gun to get this harbor freight harbor freight heat gun to get the uh, factory pinstriping off of this and that's working pretty darn slick it's not a perfect method but Better than the eraser wheel? Oh yeah, way, way, way better. I think I may have to uh, get one of these harbor freight paint guns. Right, right there. You mean heat gun? You said paint gun. Heat gun. Look at that. So Kyle's got it. How what temperature do you have that at, Kyle? 550 to 6, but I'm holding it away from it quite a bit. Oh yeah, there's quite a bit of heat out of there, guys. I like it. I think that's the way to do it. Alrighty guys, we are late afternoon here and um, John's already got the bed caps off and in the bed. Uh, they're working, they're looking at that tachometer. 
Um, I've, you know, we got the ding here. We got a ding here. Everywhere you see a, a spot like this is me getting it down to metal so we can get some uh, body filler on here. One here, got one here, here. It's not gonna be perfect, but I'm trying to find all the little spots and work it out. Uh, I've been started, I came up here. I'm kind of working around Kyle. He's trying to get all the, he's trying to get all the, the sticky goo off of here. I'm pretty sure that this is an episode. I don't want these to run too long because we're going to be putting in a lot of content up. So with that being said, guys, give this video a big thumbs up. Comments go down below. Turn on the notification bell. Do not forget to subscribe to that guy over there, the Fox Shop. He's not paying attention. Go check out his video. It will be linked at the... Uh, it'll be at the Fox Shop. I don't know if our videos are going up at the same time or not yet. So uh, go check out John's video on this same day. Uh, which is Sunday. And uh, we'll catch you next time on Central Oregon Shenanigans, guys. See you here.